Hello fellow YouTubers, it's Bob from Gill Skills here again. Today we're going to put one of these, or an extra one of these, into one of these. So stay tuned. Hey guys, here we're going to install a, an additional hard drive to my tower computer PC. So here we'll need an extra hard drive, a SATA data cable, a power cable, a computer tower, and some tools. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to flip this puppy around. We're going to want to take off this rear screw that's right here. Or at least loosen it up to the point where we can get that rear plate off or side plate. You just pull it back and it comes right off. So now you can see the inner nougat of the computer. So I'm going to pull you in a little bit more. Okay. As you can see, I'm going to actually pull you up here. This little place right here is the compartment where the original hard drive is, and that is also where the additional hard drive is going to go. So from here, what we're doing is we're going to take these two screws out right here. And from here, it's pretty straightforward, um, although for some, it, you may not know it. But if you look back here, this right here, all you got to do is push that in and then pull up. And that loosens this piece so that you can pull it up. That is the original hard drive right there. Okay, so the new hard drive should be put in the same way as the old hard drive. On the very top, you've got all your connectors right there. And the connectors for the second one should also be showing on the top as well. So that's what I'm going to do. There's the connections. So I'm going to flip it up like this. And that's how it's going to go in. And as you can see, it fits right in the box. It's the same size as the other one. And you've got screws to secure it into place. Once you get one in, it's fairly easy to get the others in. There we go. 
So the heck, second hard drive is in and it's secure. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it back in place. <clears throat> then I'm going to reconnect the connectors for the original. And I'm going to set this back in place. Just like just like that. So now we need to connect the power and the data for the second hard drive. We've already got the first one all hooked up. Now we need to connect the second one. So we're going to do that now. See, I'll get you as close in as I possibly can here. So this, this here, this red cable is the data cable. Now, the first cable, you can see it's connected in there. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but it says SATA1 or SATA1. One. We're going to connect the other end of the data cable to SATA 2. Next is the power connector. So that plugs the other side, like so. And then what we want is P any of the P's will be fine because all these connect to power. So that's connected as well. And that's it. So now we take the sheathing or the side piece. Make sure it fits on the way it should. Ta-da! So this here, so that's the original. That's the new one. 